Yo, Jack Darcy. Just trying that to see if I can get the little subscribe thing to match up. Nice. Morning, afternoon, evening. Hello, Scott. Morning. So, today we've got some soffit lights to wire. So, in here, we're going to have three lights there, three lights there, and it's going to be fed from. We're putting a whisker box up here with a photo selling. I'll show you that, show you what I mean. How are you anyway? You're good, yeah? So this will sit, this will sit on the outside of the house and then we'll drill a 20 mil hole through the front of that and then this will sit in there. It's just a nice neat photo cell. Then we'll drill back entry into there, feed it from that spur which already does the outside light. So it'll go straight up, out, and then we'll come back in, drill through the wooden support there and hopefully get into there and then fish right the way down over the porch fish down again for the three there and then we've got an outside light to do on the back with a pir sam again we'll put a whisker box connecting to the light like that there's one existing we've just got to swap it and see where it's uh, see where it's fed from uh, we're using jcc fire guards white bezels and cool white lamps on the front and a jcc flood on the back um, I'm gonna get, I'll probably have to lift some tiles up here. So on there, if I lift them up, I'll see where the joists run. That's the plan anyway. Whether it goes to plan, I don't know. I've lifted up the front row and you can't see where the joists are. So I'm thinking, if you can see that screw hole, there's one there, there's another one there, there's one there. I'm thinking that's where the joists are. So, so right, pins where you said. How are they? Yeah, it could be then, couldn't it? That's what we're going to have to go for, isn't it? So we're going to have to just copy that and mark them just with a pencil, so we know where they are, and then we'll take our measurements and hopefully get a drill through and uh, and do it. So that's this side. If it's the same, we've got the same here. Look. So hopefully they're the same and we can uh, fish down easily fingers crossed so we've measured out this is the center it's going to be close to this joist there there's a joist about there hopefully we just miss it and then we've gone 31 inches to there 31 inches to there so then we've got center of the door and an equal space in between uh, we're going to drill them out now and just pray that we don't hit them there's no other way of telling really. Um, there's a there's a ceiling a little bit above this, so it's obviously the old soffit board above that. We're just gonna have to drill through and uh, hope for the best. Yeah. Sound. There is a little support there, though. That's not on the. Uh, not with anything, Sam. That's not on the schedule. Stop that now, Scott. You are. You can stop that now, mate. <laughs> Scotty's got his phone out because it fits up the hole. We're just going to see if there's a gap still here. That's Turn absolutely pointless, out, Scott. Turn your god torch on, kid. You have to start the recording when you're up there. Put the torch on and then put it up. Any time today, mate. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I press. Oh, nice. Aim it up. Yeah, so there is a gap. If we put the rods on with the magnet the other side, yeah. we should get straight through that, shouldn't we? Oh. 
So none of the joists are big, are they? None of the supports. Turn it round and have a look. So after Scotty's put his camera up and had a look, it turns out the only support there is this one here. So we bang on the side of that, so that's sound. Then there's nothing till you get over to about here. So that that's why the wood's flexing a bit inside. But that's sound for us, but we could have drilled. Could have drilled anywhere and missed it, but obviously we didn't want to take the risk. As long as we can get that in the middle, it's going to look mint. And then with, there's an opening there, about here. So what we'll have to do is get the rods on, fish through, cut the hole the other side, and then put the magnet bit on and try and grab it. Sounds easier than it is. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well though. Hey, it's Scott. Hey. You're drilling that out, mate. Oh. Go on then, kid. You're going straight through then? No. Nope. Thought you was going for it. I thought you was going for it. Surely there's a quicker way of doing this. Long. You hit me then, not? You're a bad guy. Duh. So once that's out, we'll start fishing the cables in. Um, one, two, tre. Go on, mate. Don't be scared. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Imagine all the times I've ripped Scott for having that phone, because it's not an iPhone. <laughs> Samsung. But it fits. Oh, go on, Scotty. Do you know what you could do, Scott, if you was brave? Fold your phone up and just leave it just in front of the hole. <laughs> and then hope and pray. So we, I can't twist that, way. I ain't gonna force. No, but once you see roughly where you are, you'll be able to, to fish. Zoomed in then, there you We did order one of them ferret cameras to go on the end of the rods, but you couldn't get one. They're, um, they've got a new one coming out, apparently. So they say. Hopefully, it comes out soon so we can have it. <laughs> no. What, just go for it? Yeah. We've done the same the other side. We've pushed the rods through now. Managed to get them through, and you can hear them around here somewhere. So we've got centre of the window there, 31 inches off. 31 inches off, which is there. So we'll get these drilled now, and hopefully we'll see the rod coming through, and then we can tape on the 1.5 and, uh, and pull it through with it. Nice. So before we just start cutting, he's gonna put his camera up this side now, and just see if we can. It's the same, isn't it? What do you reckon? Yeah, it's the same, isn't it? Yeah, so there's no, well there is, but the diagonal supports off the roof trusses. So we can um, drill that one, drill that one. And hopefully we've got a clear path all the way through. See if you can see that rod, Scott. Yeah, yeah. oh you got it. You're a hero, man. Look at that for rodding. Oh. Legends we are, aren't we Scott? Legends, mate. You used to put your little things up your eyes. You're a rude guy, man. Can you cut that hole? Can you cut that hole? Ha! <laughs> Got him. Got me to do it. Hold that there. Let me get the trick. And that's it, kids. So now we've just got to fish from there, to there, from there, to there. If we drill that one out and don't hit a joist, we've won. We've won at life. Winning. Winning! Then all that's left to do on these is go straight through there, so up here, through that wood there, fish down to here, and then we'll clip round, clip round, 
drill out there, put our whisker box, come back in, clip round, get into this trunking and get into that spur, which already controls the outside light. So it'll just be outside lighting. We'll level it up, outside lighting. Hey guys, I'm just gonna show you what we do here. So these whisker boxes, the photo cells are mint. Basically that all stays in there, call that up. And then this pops through the front. So if we drill this out, Draw this dog out. And then you get two little rubber seals on this. So one on the inside, one on the outside. So bust that through the hole. Bust that onto there and then shut the lock ring off. Tighten that up in a minute and then that'll sit like that. So it'll just be literally that. All your connections can go in there and obviously you behave yourself and the photo cell can go in there. It's nice, nice and neat. So the bricks match up with the outside. They're the same courses. It is a twin skin wall, but they're the same. So what we're gonna do is measure off this to the trunking, measure it the same outside, and then hopefully drill through just above the trunking. So from that batten pillar, it's 570. So if I drill out here, if I'm up 570 off. Corner, mate, yeah. About that? Yeah. 570. It's about there. And then we'll, it's got to line me up with the height. And then we'll blast through and hope we come out above the thing. What I'm going to do now, because Scotty's going to shut the garage and get these clipped, is I want to the spur. Here's our one to the spots. We've got them both outside and I've just notched the load side. That way when it's all shut up, I know that's the load, that's the feed for our photo cell. So they're hanging out, ready to go. Scott's going to get this drilled now and try and feed these in, but make it easy. I'm just going to eye that up and put a little line there because he's going to have to shut the garage. Um, that way then he can drill in line with my spot, push it through and hopefully it comes straight down the hole. Fingers crossed. How's your drilling, Scott? Aye. Nice, like. What do you mean, mate? Will you fly through there, easy. In line and that. You with me now, mate. You with me. <laughs> He's a good lad. He is. He is a good lad. Right, shut the garage up then and we'll uh, get that drilled. Yeah, straight through the back of that. Hopefully, I'll see it up there somewhere or it can push through and we'll get down there. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. That was romantic, wasn't it? What I'm going to do here to make it watertight is probably come up and then get into. No, I can't, can I? I'm going to draw the back out. Draw the back out, fix it onto there, and then put some silicon in. Um, to make it watertight. Probably put a bit of silicon in that hole as well just before I put it over. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then put some washers, probably a bit of silicon behind the washer just to make it a bit more waterproof. They come with um, a little adapter, which you screw up and then just push it on. But obviously with me coming through the back, I can't get it on. I haven't pierced that through yet, so we'll take that back out. I was just gonna have it landing in, but it's twin and earth outside, isn't it? It's no good. Yeah, I'll drill the back out of that then get it mounted and then show you the photo so it's fish through I thought I was recording it but I wasn't <laughs> so he's fish through he's drilled straight through there when he drilled it I seen the wood coming out so I knew he was there push the cable through obviously I've put my hand up it's really sharp man these are sharp hella sharp so yeah so that's your feed in feed across to here feed across to here feed across to there to there to there then He's clipping the inside now. Once all that's clipped and secure and in the trunk in, I can then bang some silicon in there, mount my box, get the photo cell on, and then we'll start connecting up the spots. So I've just found out. Imagine all the whisker boxes we've used over the years. I did not know you could mark them through there and drill them. So I've marked the four dots with the tracer pencil. Uh, this pencil 
goes all the way through the box. Mark, 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 mark. I'll get them drilled now, get it mounted, and then blast some more silicon in uh, just to seal it up. Up, up. So that's the whisker box mounted now. Put the silicon in there just to make it a bit more watertight. I did not know you could fix using them holes. That's absolutely mint. We normally drill through, put a bit of silicon in and washer it. That's awesome. We learn something every day. Every day. So I'm going to let that go off for a bit, obviously because of the silicon. When I put the photo cell box in there, it might get all covered. So we'll let that go off for a little bit. It's got started the spots now. So JCC fire guards, white bezel and what lamps are they? Integral lamps. Nice. They're nice. We haven't had a problem with them yet. So we'll keep using them for now. So we'll get some of these set up and put on. By the time we've finished these six, I'm hoping that that um, silicon will have gone off a bit and I can start connecting the photo cell up. Here's our feed out look. So it comes off the spur. Straight out, up there, clips around there, and then in through. I don't know if you can see that, just there, through the hole to that spot there. But I'll start connecting some up there. Spots are in, connected up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice out of this, Scott. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, just got to wait for this to go off a bit more. And then I can put the photo cell in. So basically you have, obviously your two neutrals, you live in, you live out in your earths. And then on our photo cell, we've got, if you look there, Live out's red, so that'll go to our spots. Live in goes to our feed from the spur, and then your neutrals are blue. So we'll cut those down a bit, get some wagos on, ready to chuck in the box. The earths we'll just put together in um in a wago. In a wago. Yeah, and then that just tucks in. Coil this bit up. I don't know why that's so long. They come really long and you can't shorten it down, but yeah, we'll get them on there. This is the whisker box. Whisker? Yeah, whisker box. So, you've got your live out, which is to your red on your photo cell, live in, brown, and then your neutrals into a wago there. The earth would just wago through because there's no earth connection. So basically that'll tuck in there, this will go on top, and then that's all you'll see. Nice. It's a lot neater than using the, uh, the big mushroom ones, I think anyway. And that, kids, is the finished article. It's nice. Nice. So that's all done now. So it's just wiring in the spur into the load and then that way I leave that on. These will stay on and these will stay on. And it's going to look nice. Really nice. Isn't it Scotty? Yeah, nice. Oh, he says it's going to look nice, eh? And there she blows. She's on. I'll go off in a sec. It's just because we've just put the power on. Obviously the photo of our cell has to... Uh, has to start up lake. How lovely they are, they'll look really nice at night though. Well, there you go. There you go. Just mark that up as well. Outside lights just so they know that it controls all the outside lights. Um, we've got a floodlight to change out the back now, so we'll get the ladders off the van, take them round and uh, show you that. Turns out we don't need the ladders. It's not that hard. This one we'd have. So here's the existing light. You've got the flex out the wall. So we're going to mount this there, flex into the bottom, flex out to our light, and we'll put our new light there to cover the box, which will be nice. Hmm. Just tested the cables at the light. There's no power. And this obviously goes into the cavity somewhere. So Scott's just gone in to have a look, see if there's any isolation for it anywhere. Um, we're going to have to find it to see where it comes on from. Whether they've dogged it into the back of a socket and disconnected it or what. So they've only been here um, six months, so the customers who live here now. So they, they've never known how it's turned on. But the cable's fairly new. So we'll have to try and find it. We found it. So above that, where the light is. Well, not even above. To the back of the light, I'll show you. Look at the mess of my beard. It's like Tourette's or something. In there, that must go into the cavity, and in that room, there's a massive headboard screwed up on the wall. So we've took that off, took the headboard off, and there's 
spur behind, which was switched off. So we've turned it back on, put the spur on, put the headboard back, and we've got power here now. So just waiting for Scotty to turn the power off, and then we'll get the light swapped over. But yeah, found it, fair play to us. I don't know if you can hear this wind, but it's horrendous. Right, mounted the whisker box up, flexed in into the bottom. I'll put the way it goes on there now. Flex out, mount the light here, and you won't see it. That's the plan anyway. Let's get these way goes on and get the light mounted. The wind. Whoa! It's windy, isn't it, Scotty? Yeah, it's windy up here, mate. Watch me send. Oh, oh, oh. Here's the finished article. We've got the whisker box, feed in, feed out into JCC flood. We set these around halfway, but all three of them. So you got looks for how dark it is when it comes on, sensitivity and how long it stays on. We always just set them everything off and off and off and off and off. And that's us, nearly there. We've got to just tidy up now. Um, yeah, and that's it, nice. That's it kids. Another job fired off, lovely job, wasn't it Scotty? Really nice job, mate. Yeah, looks lovely, it'll be really nice. Um, lovely customers, kept us watered throughout. Uh, yeah, I'll text them for a picture after, uh, see what it looks like at night, but I think it's gonna look mint, really nice. Uh, this job came from Uncle Nick, Nick Bundy. So I'm gonna ring him now and say thank you for giving him our number, because it's closer to us than it is for him. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. Did you press it? Sorry mate. This is take three for the for the benefit of YouTube, this is take. Was it take three? <laughs> take three the first time we did a screen record, no sound. Second time, Scott can't figure out how to press a button on a GoPro, so we've got nothing. <laughs> We've got absolutely nothing. So this is take three. So thank you, Nick, for passing our number on, giving us this work. We really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, God. He's ridiculous. I know. We've recorded so many podcasts in the past, and Sam has never clicked record. We've done it for an hour. Oh, my God. And he's God. like, oh, my God, I never recorded it. So we then have to sit there again. So some of the episodes where you see us a lot sit there going, are you sick of it? <laughs> Fair play to you. Anyway, it happens. It does but happen. Yeah, anytime, mate. Um, but yeah, thank you. Your area, it's easy for us to pass the number across, and um, it's it, it. The thing is, if we were to travel up to where you are now from us, just to quote, we'd end up sticking it on the bill to cover time for travel. Yeah, we would come out way more expensive than you guys locally, so it makes more sense. Yeah, cheers, dude. I appreciate it. Anything you get, we get for your way. We'll send it on. If we get anything, but we won't, because you'll I get it all. What's he doing down there? Get off! Get off, yeah. will you? Oh, another one following me around. I know what it's like. But yeah, dude. Hopefully that's recorded. And thank you very much. No problem at all, mate. Have a good day. And you, mate. Nice one. See you well, later. Guys, everyone, like and subscribe. Oh, Please legend. Oh, I'll say it again. Legend. For that, you said that three times. No. Change <laughs> job, <laughs> Yeah. Not you. Ridiculous. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Right, nice one. See you, See you later. Bye bye. Good job.